everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. So in this episode of 5 Minute Java, I'll be talking about while loops. And really quickly before the video starts, I just want to remind you to make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Java and programming videos. And I'll also be continuing these 5 Minute Java videos as well, so if you enjoy those, again, make sure to subscribe. Anyway, let's get started. So a while loop is a type of loop that you can use in Java. And so in this video, I'll be going over while loops and do while loops, which are both pretty similar. Um, and in another video, I went over for loops, so if you want to see that, I will leave a link to that uh, in the top right corner and at the end of the video. So in order to do a while loop, you need to have a variable that you're changing that will kind of determine when the while loop will start and finish. So in this case, I'll create an integer i equals 0, and then I'll do a while i is less than 4, and I can just print that at while i is less than 4. But it's important at the end to say i++ plus plus so that you're moving closer to the condition that will eventually stop the loop. Otherwise, you'll be stuck in an infinite loop, and that's not good at all. So uh, this is one type of a while loop you can do. And if I run it, you can see what it does. So this is when i is 0, i is 1, i is 2, i is 3. And then once it gets to 4, it stops. And so for the next one, I will be doing another while loop, but slightly different. So in this case, I'll say int x equals 1. And again, you need to do while, and then in this case, I'm just going to say true. So this means this will run forever. If I don't say anything in here, if I just run this right now, it will, this will run forever because this is just running while true, and there's nothing stopping it from running. So that's why I'm going to add some more code in here. So I'm going to say if x is uh, equal to 2, then system.out.println done. And even when I do that, it's still going to keep going because I didn't say stop the loop. In order to basically tell the program to stop the loop, you have to say break. And this will break out of the while loop. But I still don't have anything that's moving the x closer to x equals 2. In order to do that, I will add an else statement here and say else system.out.println x and x++. Plus plus. And now before I run it, it's good to always verify that you don't have an infinite loop. So just go through, I have an x equals 1 while true. If x equals 2, then it will break. Uh, if x is not equal to 2, then it will increase the value of x. So I'm moving closer to my goal of x equals 2. And now when I run it, you can see that it prints out x equals 1, and then it gets to 2, and that meets this condition. So it breaks and clicks and prints done. And it's important if you want to actually print this right here, you have to put that before the break statement because if you put it after, it won't actually run because it's breaking out of the loop. It's basically skipping to this line right here. So if I were to put this this right underneath the break, it would not reach that point in the code. And I also get a little error that says unreachable code. And then the last example is a do while loop. And I haven't used this one as much, but still definitely useful uh, in some cases. And this is very similar to the while loop, but it's a little different. So I'm going to create a int y equals 5. And then the first part of this is saying do, and then open bracket. And this is basically your action. So I'm going to say y++ plus plus as my action. Uh, and then after that, you do while, and then your condition, while y is uh, less than 10. And then you have to put a semicolon at the end. So this is basically, uh, you can see I'm creating a y equals 5, and it does this condition before it even starts checking. So the first time it's actually doing the action, and then it's going to start checking. So it's um, doing the action, so this actually becomes y equals 6, and then it's checked. Uh, 6 is definitely less than 10, so it goes back to the do, it adds 1 again, becomes 7, it's definitely less than 10, and it keeps doing that until, until y is no longer less than 10, and then it will uh, stop doing the do statement. So this is another loop. Uh, I didn't put anything to print here, but I can print uh, print out y just to show you that it does work. And uh, I'll go ahead and run it. And you can see that it has, oh, I should actually comment this out as well. Um, so you can see it starts with 6 because it actually does the do statement before it even checks. So it doesn't actually print out 5, it prints out 6. Then 7, 8, 9, 10. It, then it checks, is 10 less than 10? No, so it stops doing the do. So yeah, those are some basic while loop examples. I hope you found this video helpful. 
Um, if you did, make sure to subscribe for more Java and programming videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.